Today, I'm using Minecraft's most dangerous traps to create the most deadly obstacle course that's ever been created. And our first trap is called the Instant Bubble Death Trap. Take a look at this one. Like this. Then in the bottom strip mine, break out the floor, place soul sand, and then place water to make a bubble column. Fill the bubble column with instant harm arrows if you're in bedrock or regular arrows if you're in java. Then replace the floor above the bubble column with dirt. Then when the hunters are in the top strip mine, break the dirt blocks and they'll fall into the bubble column. This is a cool trap. Basically, it uses bouncing arrows to absolutely impale you from the bottom. <laughs> which I like. I'm gonna start players right here and they're gonna run through this trap course. So our very first one is the bubble column, which is probably gonna kill a lot of people. So I'm excited for this. I don't think anyone's gonna even survive. Now the way he uses it is you have to physically be there to activate it. I don't really like that. We're gonna make ours automatic. We're gonna step it up a little bit. So right here, we're gonna have some extended pistons. We really wanna make sure they can't soak up the old arrows. That'll ruin the entire trap. So we're going down a little deeper. Now we need to wire these up. And I could do a pressure plate, but that might be too obvious. So I'm thinking maybe a tripwire. I feel like a tripwire would be the best move here. So we'll grab one of those and a string. And this should be exactly what we're looking for. We'll go have to redstone invert that though. Okay, it's almost perfect. The last thing we have to do is invert these with some redstone. Really simple, guys. Y'all know what it is. Just pop a torch down. All right, one side's done. Now we got to do the other side. Okay, and it looks like she works. So I just got to cover up all the redstone and then really do our best job to hide the tripwire here. But that's why we're using stone because it's going to blend right in. Now, obviously, this is a little bit suspicious with these like two little holes right here. So I'm going to do what I can to disguise it and make it just look a little bit less sus. Like, for example, random trap doors. Boom! There it is. So that's going to drop you right in. Literally, it's a perfect design. And so the last thing we need to do is get our bow out and launch a bunch of regular arrows down there. And this guy says they're going to float forever. So I actually really hope this part works or we're screwed. That didn't work. You got to very, very lightly shoot them. This is quite difficult, to be honest. That looks horrifying. Okay, well, I don't know if that's going to work. So we're going to find out when the players run through it. And I also don't know if they're going to despawn. Oh, God, this is a lot of redstone, my dude. So an observer... Oh, that's crazy. So the observer actually catches you because there's a string that triggers it and that swaps the water out for lava at the bottom. The thing is, I don't really know why it does that old swapper down there. That's, oh God, this one's crazy. Well, if they make it through our impossible arrow trap, it's just going to get worse from here, to be honest, guys. So I guess we're just going to go like this. There's going to be a hole right here. And all I really understand about this one is that there is an observer somewhere that's kind of hard to see, like lower, I guess, and then a string. There we go. Okay, so that clearly triggers it. So that's good. We've we've created that perfectly. So one of these at the bottom is a lava dispenser. So we'll pop this one down. I mean, this is such a cool trap. We can pull it off. I just, I, I question our ability to do it. Water goes here. This is the type of redstone that like makes me feel sick on the inside. Okay, so bring it up and then you got to make it go behind the uh, observer, which I think my observer is too low. I don't know what we're making here. I'm not going to lie to you. This one is crazy advanced. Why does he make this look like it's the easiest trap ever? And then you actually go to do it and you're like, yo, I got to be a rocket scientist to pull this off. You know, it's not good when you start to innovate and try to make it your own. Because I feel like if I add a bucket here and then a lava here and then put this on like a slower delay than this one, then this would theoretically be turning on right away. Guys, we did it. We did it. This is the most like weird hacky way to ever pull this trap off. And it's literally not even close to what it's supposed to be. So here's the idea. I just manually refill, refill this with water. And when someone falls down, this is what will happen. They fall, they hit this, and they still hit the water because it's not high enough. I guess we can break this. And really, we just have to lower this. What? Nope. Oh, we did it. We actually did it. It pulls it away last second. I just want to go inspect it real quick to show you guys what kind of wonky redstone setup this is. It goes down for miles. I don't know what any of it does. And all I have to do now is clear it up, make it look good. And uh, this will be a fully functional trap. Thank God. Now for our next trap, we're using puffer fish. And like Wilpy says, he doesn't think they're the best trap in Minecraft. But I think we can prove him wrong because I got a pretty cool idea with these bad boys. But before we get to the puffer fish, we actually do need to design a way that they would survive in. So what I'm going to do is actually maybe put a trap on this side that is the exact same, except in this one, they're going to fall into lava. And so maybe they're going to think that this is how they die and they're going to jump in the other one. They're really not going to know because the lava will be above the sign. And then when you fall into the lava, 
you fall into the water and you put the fire out and you're okay and you're alive and you're not dead. But we do need to put down a fake observer because they're going to be able to notice it in both sides. So fake observer is a requirement. Okay, so once they come down to here, then we can move on to the Wilfie's Pufferfish Trap, which again, he doesn't think is good. I feel like Pufferfish are definitely the move though, and I'm about to show you why. Now for this one, we're going to cover the entire floor in water. So I just need to clear this out just a smidge. The bottom needs to become pure water. That is our water trap. And honestly, we better at least make this look better. Let's get some walls in here. Now that looks classy. So you've probably never seen a trap like this before. What we're going to do is literally cover the entire ground in trap doors. This is going to take a long time. What you may not know is that if you're standing over water on a trap door, pufferfish can hurt you through it. So I'm about to show you what I mean with these pufferfish that we've conveniently named salmon. Come on, boys. Spread yourselves out now. So now I'm going to show you guys what's going to happen when you go to walk across this floor. We're going to go in survival mode and... Boom! Just like that, you randomly start taking poison damage. You don't know why, although I guess you could hear it. And uh, it's going to be really hard to get through. I'm going to do an ugly roof as well to distract them. I feel like this is pretty powerful. Anyway, we're going to make a fancy door here with some stairs. There you go. Obviously, this next one's pretty ridiculous. He makes fake carpet using item frames. We're going to try something similar, but for us, we're going to do fake... I'm not sure. Fake sand? In order to pull this off, we need to locate a zone that is absolutely massive that we can world edit about infinite sand. Oh, the problem is with sand, it's going to fall and it won't work. We're going to do a black terracotta block. So what I need to do is take out a map right here. This is going to take some time. Our map shows us kind of right in the center. So we're going to fly all the way to this corner of the map. We're going to select this corner. Then all the way to the opposite corner. This actually isn't as bad as I thought it'd be, guys. See, this is fun. Right here. And we're going to set this to black concrete. This may crash the server. We'll find out, folks. Hey, it's alive. Now, if we make a second map right in the center of this zone, it should not quite be all black because some trees are poking through. Ah, you are the culprits. Okay, now we should be able to do it. There we go. Our perfectly black map. Okay, now the problem is I have no idea how to get back. Now that we're back, uh, almost thought I couldn't get back here for a second and kind of got terrified. Jumping down into the lava across the pufferfish room, we now have our all black map. And we can use this to create a room that appears to have flooring when really it doesn't. We're gonna need to put it on top of item frames. So we're just gonna do one right here in the corner. We're gonna put a frame on top of it. I'm gonna wait to show you the map though, because underneath it, of course, will be a giant pit to death. If I put lava, people will hear the lava. They're gonna fall in and die. Right next to it, more of this color. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's slightly different. Maybe I use black concrete instead, and that's going to look better. See if that blends in more. Ah, it's still got edges, though. This is definitely a better color. Those edges definitely stick up. That's a problem. Oh, wait, I know. We could just do this all the way along the floor, and now it really doesn't stick up anymore. It's just kind of this front row. Then when you walk, you're randomly going to fall through and fall to your death. So we'll do one death pit there, and then one death pit right here. And then if they literally just somehow get unlucky and fall, they're both dead. All right, and then maps to close it off. And then really at the end of the day, literally I can't even tell myself. The only thing is to make this absolutely perfect is this barrier, this edge. People will see it. Wait, I think a slab would work. What if we did like this? There you go. Just put a slab down and then we'll just pretend like it's framing the door, but really it's just there to cover up the fact that there are two holes. I don't think anyone's making it through this one. That is very, very hard to do. We'll act like it's a decoration around the side. Come on. Come on. Tell me this isn't incredible. And they'll just think this is a hallway to the next room when really the hallway is the trap. So this one's actually the most viewed trap video of all time on YouTube. 72 million views. Silly Minecraft head onto them and see how long it is before they notice that they're wearing one. I recommend the dragon head. Okay, so he's saying put a dragon head, try to trap them. You know how it is. It's not as cool, though, as the Curse of Binding. Matter of fact, let's do Curse of Binding 99, just to make sure they can literally never take it off, even in, like, creative mode. Then all we're going to do is put some dispensers down, and I'm going to borderline make it impossible to not get hit with this. What this is going to do is, if they somehow make it to this point, it's going to really hurt their vision, because once you put a pumpkin on, you can't get it off, and your vision looks a little bit like this. And I would not want to be completing an entire obstacle course like this. But the last one is a lover fella special trap. I'm inventing this one on the spot right here. And once they get pumpkin vision, we want something they can't really see well. So I think something like... So this is a wonderful trap I like to call the structure void trap. Structure voids are cool blocks in Minecraft where you can still walk through them, but it holds back lava and water. And so we can make walls that literally are just pure lava. And if you were to touch that wall, you would take some damage. And if your vision was hurt, and maybe if you also were given, maybe, I don't know, some sort of like an effect from a command block that maybe gave you uh, nausea when you're walking over this pressure plate. So I think now if we were to walk over this, we start getting nauseous as well as pumpkins. There it is. Look at the visual problems now. So there I'll have to use that to get across this somewhat simple 
simple parkour course, but really it's not that simple. And if they manage to get right here to this final block, which we're going to make out of diamonds, this block means they win. So the course is now ready for some testing. I have never had anyone beat it. In fact, this is how many trap videos we've done. All of these, they're really cool. No one's beat any of them. All right, guys, today WooDog's gonna be our first contestant racing through this very difficult trapped course. And if he survives with one life, he's going to win $10. Just kidding, right? That's not enough. What he's going to win is one of the best items in my Minecraft server. Woodog, your time starts now. Here we go. Wait, am I allowed to break? No breaking, simply walking. This is possible with just walks. Good luck. Falls into the arrow pit! It looked like the arrow pit doesn't actually work, guys, as well as we thought. The arrows kind of just bounce there. So it's not going to kill him, but he is going to be stuck there and eventually die from starvation. But that also means the arrow trap is going to need to be replaced because clearly that ain't it. So maybe we'll just replace this with some lava. Guys, up next is the man, the myth, the legend, iTiny. He's won over, what, $2,000 for me? So if anyone could beat it, it's him. iTiny, good luck. This is an easy trap. You just gotta... Oh, that's... You can't, you can't actually touch anything. You can only walk. No! Smart. Jukes the first trap. Uh, Wudong didn't do that, certainly. Up to the next one. Which pill will we take? The red or the blue pill? Picks that. And picks incorrectly and falls into the pit of doom where iTiny is done. Up next, let's go ahead and bring up our next friend here. Ghost to circling in a boat. He knows exactly what to do because he definitely heard that back when he was circling in a boat. Now he's got to make the same decision Tiny made. Oh, gosh. Oh, can't see. Is that water? You want water? Oh, I'll put some water down there for you. Here. Here, we'll get... Wait, oh. did you pick? Yeah. You picked! Oh, he picked crap. one! I didn't even uh -huh. see it and he picked! He picks the I'm door and he goes into the pufferfish trap. I told y'all they were good. And he falls oh into gosh. the hole! Oh my goodness! Look at that. See, guys, the pufferfish make you rush, and then the next secret trap makes you confused. Hi, right, Tiny, go ahead real quick. Give it another try. Tiny, Ghost, you guys can go together. This is your last chance. You two get another shot together. If you die, you will get kicked off the server. So, guys, I'll let him double up this time. I want to give him twice the shot. These are the best players around, man. Come on, y'all know who I Tiny is. Here we go, here we go. Careful, this puffer fish. So close to sweet danger. Oh! Oh! Sprints it, sprints it, here we go. Super easy. Look at him, look at him. Oh, I tiny goes into the hole! Oh my gosh, you can't make this up, folks! You cannot make this up! Uh. Oh no, ghost gets pumpkined! What's gonna happen here, folks? I'm getting dizzy. Boom, hey. pumpkin makes it on his second try, congratulations. Guys, if you like this trap video, you're going to like this one even more. Click right here to go check out this insane trap video where if the loser loses, they lose in real life. We'll actually kill them. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, what? What? 